Hi, Lucy. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, I've been better. So I heard that um, you fell, did you hurt yourself? Yeah, um, it was mainly just like my knee, um, knee down, and ever since the fall I've had a really bad cough, um, and just like when I breathe, some wheezing. Okay, so was the right knee or the left knee? It was my left knee. Okay, left ankle as well? Yes. All right. Let me go ahead and ask you just a few questions here. So, um, you said you were playing tennis? Yes. Yes. What? Oh, we sorry. didn't say that, but... And um, do you have any sports that you participate in? It was during a tennis match. Okay. How long ago was this? Um, three days ago. I just kind of waited to see if it would go away, but it's just gotten worse. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much pain are you in right now? Um, probably like around like a 5 or a 6. It's the worst at night time for some reason. Okay, interesting. Have you been icing it? Yes. Perfect. Okay, and how long does the pain last? Um, just until I fall asleep, um, but it's super hard to fall asleep. I'm just like tossing and turning because it's so painful. I'm so sorry about that. Have you ever had plantar fasciitis? No. Okay. No previous pain before the fall? And do you um, struggle with any headaches? Yes. Okay. Now um, and before. Pretty frequent? feels more like it's turning into migraines. Gotcha. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and check your vitals. We'll have a listen of the heart and the lungs as well. Perfect. We're going to start off by checking your oxygen. And we'll just have that set down right there. And I'll just check your temperature. Good, and the ear, 36.7 Celsius, which is good. All right, oxygenation is 96, and BPM is 70. Why don't you go ahead and listen to your heart and your lungs with my stethoscope. I'll have you just breathe normal. I'll have you just breathe normal. Okay, take a deep breath in. Listen to the lungs on this side. Good, deep breath in. And release. Perfect. And I'll just listen to the lungs right here. Deep breath in. And breathe out. Good. So no crackling of the lungs, which is a good sign. Do you smoke? Yes. Okay. We're going to go ahead and check your blood pressure. I am going to just bring the sleeve up. Okay, and just breathe normal. Okay. Okay, 
the numbers are 118 over 78, which is very good. All right, so now that your vitals are looking good for us to go ahead and proceed with this medical exam, I would actually like for you to stand up so I can take a look at your gait. And I'm also just going to see if you can move your knees up and down. Okay. So I'll have you stand up. All right, I'm going to have you walk up to me. Okay, good. Turn around and walk and stay. Perfect. And are you able to bring your knee up like this? Yes. Without any pain? Um, there is a bit of pain. It's my lower back. I feel the pain and just below here and my lung where it's going up. Okay. Let me just take a look at it. And have you lift your knee if you can on just up there. Okay, so I'm just having a feel. I do see that bruise here. Okay. It's not swollen, which is good. And the ankle's not swollen either. Okay. And let's just have you raise this knee. I just want to make sure that everything's good on this side. No pain? No. Okay, good. I'll have you sit back on the table. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'll have you lay down. I'll assess the knee, the legs, and the feet, and we'll do the reflexology. Okay. I'm just going to be putting on some gloves. Okay, so I'm just going to start by looking at the knee here. Do you see that there's a scar there? Have you had a knee surgery previously? Yes, in 2018. Okay. I do see some more scars here. Wow, you've been pretty banged up. Just having a look for any bumps or bruising. Looking for any gout. Any melanoma. Checking the capillary response. Two seconds. Perfect. Just checking the other knee here. No bruises here. And checking for head melanoma. I do actually see a bruise right here. Does that hurt to the touch? Not, not that badly. Okay. But the ankle here is not hurting. Mm. Okay. Checking the toes, inside the toes, looking for any scratches. I'm going to use my two fingers here to check the pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. I'm just going to have a feel of the foot, I'm just slightly pressing. Any pain? Right there, yes. 
Yes. Right here? Yes. Okay. And I'm just pulling your toes up and down. And let me know if you feel any pain. Any pain here? Um, no, just kind of tender. Any pain here? Um, it's at the same spot, just the top of the foot, around okay. there. Could be from your shoes, as you're a tennis player. Could just be normal wear and tear, since I don't see any bruising. Okay, so we're gonna actually check the sensations. So I'll be looking for the five nerves that Supply the foot. So I'll first be looking at the tibial nerve, which is the sole of the foot, which is right here. Can you feel that? Yes. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Yes. And now we'll be looking at the superficial perineal nerve that supplies the dorsum of the foot. So it's at the top of the foot. And you said you were feeling a little bit of pain, but it was underneath, right? Um, <clears throat> and a bit on top there as well. Okay, so you might have a little bit of nerve damage here. Is it the same for this side? Yes. Okay. Now I'll be looking at the deep peroneal nerve that supplies the first web space, which is right over here. I'm just going to slowly palpate. Just let me know if you feel any pain at all, or any uncomfort, any discomfort. I'll check the other side. And any discomfort here? Uh, just not really. Okay. Towards the top. We'll look at the saphenous nerve that supplies the medial border of the foot. Okay. And the sural nerve that supplies the lateral border of the foot. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use some oil and work right here to try to loosen up the muscles and the tenderness. I'm going to go ahead and measure the foot first. Just a minute. 
but I am going to go ahead and use this measuring tool here to measure the, the foot here. Okay, so that's nine. Measuring at the same, but this one is just a tiny little bit swollen. Let me check your ankles. Eight and a half. And the same. Very good. So we're going to start by working on some pressure points above the toes here. Some pressure point therapy. All right, I'm gonna have you turn around. I'll be working on the soles of your feet. Okay, I'm just going to apply some oil. Okay, so I'm just applying some pressure near the lower back, hip, knee, ankle, foot area. Just applying pressure with my thumbs. And you should feel that it's tender. Yeah. On the other side. Moving down to the bladder right here. And the other colon. And focusing on the lung area. That's exactly where it's sore. Okay, it's probably because of the cough that you've been having. 
When you cough, is it wheezing or is it just a dry cough? I'm wheezing. So feeling the neck area by the toes here. Focus on the lungs here. And on the other side. The sinus area. And then tip of the toe is usually headache. You can soothe a headache with pressure at the tip of the toe. going to be using my tool to dig in just a little bit deeper. Press and release. Press, release. This also helps with blood flow, blood circulation. Use my hammer to create more blood flow. And are you comfortable? Yes. I'm just going to do some point pressure therapy.
Okay, now I'm going to make sure that we're not missing anything. To just use this device to help break up any pieces or any clots that we might be missing or any pain points that we might be missing. And if we're missing anything, there would be bruising that would occur to indicate where we would need to put more work into. Looks like this foot is good. I'm going to apply some pressure with my ice globes. And I just want you to tell me if you can feel this going from your heel to your big toe. Yes. Heel to your small toe. Yes. Heel to your small toe. Yes. Heel to your big toe. Yes. Perfect. We're going to do a sharper dull test really quick. Do you feel that? Yes. And this is sharp. Yes. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Very good. Okay. What I'm going to do next is just have a feel of the knees here and the back of the leg. Let me know if you feel any pain. I'm just going to bring the knee up. Okay, I'm just twisting the foot. Any pain here? And just having a feel of the legs here, the calves, and bringing the knee up. Any pain? Yeah, this one's a bit more sore. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have you set up for me. How do you feel? I feel much better, thank you. You're welcome. So I think what you could do is still ice the knee and ice the ankle a little bit since the ankle was still just a little swollen. Yeah. And as far as the lungs go, I hope that your cough does get better. Um, just let me know if you need anything else. Thank you so much, this was awesome. Have a great rest of your day.